Hello SRP. Hello. So I'm going to do a cranial nerve exam on you today. Right. Um, we've brought the malpractice hospital to you again. <laughs> so what I would like to do is start with your chest to check your heartbeat. So I have this here. Let's just put that. Right, so I'm just going to check this now just to see, make sure your heart right. is beating. Good strong heartbeat. No murmurs. And my next measurement now, I'm going to check your pulse. I've just turned this dial and what that does is it puts the smaller one there. So if you can pass me your wrist. Fantastic. You're definitely still alive. I'm just going to record that. Now I'm going to get you to just check. I'm just going to check that your touch is good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this particular gadget for two different reasons. Mm -hmm. Right, so what I want you to do is just shut your eyes for me. Tell me where this is touching. Um, top left. Top right, forehead. Uh, right eyelash. Left eyebrow. Nose. Top lip. Uh, left ear. Side of the nose. Just there. Why don't you can open your eyes? That sounds good to me. Next, I'm going to give you something to taste. Mm -hmm. So, what I want you to do is shut your eyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We just put this, if you want to put that in your mouth for me. And I'd like to know what taste sensations you've got, please. I think it's a combination. A sweet, sour and bitter. So what about sweet. textures? Oh, sugary, soft surface. I know it's quite mushy. That's great. Thank you. Right. So now I'm going to do some smell text textures. Mm -hmm. Well, my first one of two. Very sweet. You 
an extra point if you know what the scent is but as long as you can give me some ideas as to what you think I'm not sure that it's gonna have another smell please I'm not sure that smells like the citronella it's quite it's slightly pungent with a touch of sweetness you might have this as a copper. Chamomile? Yeah. Because this isn't as strong a scent as the last one. Might have to do this a couple of times. help if I take this top off. You can still smell them through it though. Oh yeah. It's like antiseptic. It's like TCP. It's like minty. It's a minty one. An Australian mammal only eats these. Eucalyptus? Yeah. I'm usually pretty bad at these smell tests. But the clues do help. Mm. Sounds like tea tree, oh yeah? similar to the first one. You'd cook this on, on top of your lamb. Mint? Nope. But it's, you, I can understand why you think because you always put mint with lamb. Mm. Try again. It's a herb. Possibly rosemary. Yep. Yeah. It's amazing though because you think of mint for the lamb. Mm. You don't think rosemary smells like mint? There's some similarities there. Yep. I'm going to do one more. Is it cinnamon? Try again. Is there anything it reminds you of? Polish. Tell you I'm rubbish at this. It could also be used as a colour. As a pinky colour. And it's a perennial in the garden. Also, a girl's name. Rose. Yeah. So, is there anything that you feel felt? Obviously, there's a couple of them mm. smell similar sort of smells. Mm. But as far as the texture of the smell, was mm. there anything that you felt was a similarity on those smells? The first one in the rosemary. They were. Like a mint tea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I say, I'm not very good at these. I'm not very... You didn't do too badly mm, there. Not very discerning with the smell test. I'm now going to just check your field of vision. Mm. To do this, I'll use... Whereas for the touch, I use the small one. I'm using the big one now mm. for the mm. fields check. Mm. So what I want to do is, if you can shut one eye, I don't care which one you shut at the moment, mm. you'll do the other one later. Mm. So what I'm going to do is bring this in and just tell me when you can see it. 
Just keep looking at me. There. Right, and there. Now if you want to swap eyes Yeah That was in quite close wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you know why it had to come in so close for you? Sorry. Do you know why it had to come in so close? Because of my big nose. Well, it was your nose, but I wouldn't say big nose. <laughs> So now I'm going to do a couple of checks mm -hmm. measuring your head. Mm -hmm. So one of the first things I'm going to measure is the diameter of your head. Mm -hmm. oh. And what I'm doing is measuring it just above the ear. centimeters now I'm not doing the regular measurements like head width I'm going to do the from your ears to the tip of your nose mm -hmm. I only need to do it one side there could be as much as five millimetres difference between the two, but I'm only going to measure one side for now. Mm. So what I would like you to do, if you can turn your head this way, I'm just going to measure from the top of your ear to what we call the projection of your nose. One hundred and seventy three millimeters. My next measurement, mm -hmm. I'm going to measure your prosthesis. Right. So I'm going to measure the length of it. Mm -hmm and the depth of it at the highest point. Mm -hmm. So I'm going from the top of your eyebrow, which is where the top of your nose would be, to where your nose joins your face at the bottom, which is sixty-one millimeters. And now I'm just going to measure the depth. Again, if you turn your head to the side for me, thank you. And that's 33 millimetres. Now I'm going to measure your pupil distance. 
to do this. I'm going to do it first of all monocularly. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use this for putting your nose onto and then I can measure across. Mm -hmm. Just look at me, look at my nose. Thirty and twenty-nine. And now we'll measure one more measurement binocularly. So if you look at my finger. then across 63 now what you'll notice I've got a different measurement mm -hmm. for your monocular to your binocular because when I did your monocular I was getting you to do a near vision so you looked at my nose yeah. which is the near vision mm -hmm. And I've got that as 30 and 29. Mm. But then when I've done your distance PD, it's 63. So in fact, it's four millimeters difference. Mm. Yeah. Just in case anybody watching this will think that it's wrong. I'm cockeyed. <laughs> right, I think that will do for today.